Welcome back, water signs. This should be our spiritual sag. So, you know, as I was meditating on your energy, the song uh, Bag Lady came on by Erica Badu. And so I'm just really feeling like, you know, you're growing. You've been through a lot. You, you also showed up in the um, earth sign reading, so you might want to go check that out. But um, this person is growing. They're no, they know they worth now. That, that, that's the energy that I'm feeling. All right, so this is for my Cancer Scorpio Pisces people. All right. And these are affirmation cards. So let's see what popped out for you guys. I cherish every, every opportunity for change. I cherish every opportunity for change. All right. Thank you, Spirit. Okay, so Divine Holy Spirit, I ask that you come in and give us a message. I have courage at the bottom. Um, give us a message for my water signs. What is it that their higher self wants them to know, Divine Holy Spirit? Please and thank you. She said, if we were made in his image, then call us by our name. It's almost like, I know my worth. I need you to treat me as such. I'm telling you, whoever I'm talking to, it's, it's, it's like they, they went through some changes and now they know who they are. This person was carrying around a lot of uh, baggage with that bag lady song. It's like, let it go so that you can grow. All right, Divine Holy Spirit, give us a message, please, and thank you. Fear, I realize that I am testing my resolve to live in the energy of love. All right, we're going to go in. Divine Holy Spirit, I ask that you come in and give us clear, concise messages for the water sign. Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. Please and thank you. Are you guys scared of change? We have uh, By the Book and Unfinished Symphony. Are you guys fearing some change? Are you fearing uh, letting someone love you because you've been through a lot? Or, you, you know, you've been scarred? I don't know. I don't know what's going on. We're going to see. But like it says, I cherish every opportunity for change. Don't hold on to it, baby. Let it go. Go the distance. Okay, let's go in. We have Go the Distance, Unfinished Symphony, and By the Book. So we're going to go. And then I have the Queen of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Uh, Divine Holy Spirit, I ask that you come in and give us clear, concise messages for my water signs. For my water signs. Uh, 9 to 1. Like I said, somebody been wounded. You've been hurt. You know, you've been through a lot. I get it. I understand. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. We have, you, there you go right there, the Queen of Cups. The Queen of Pentacles popped out again. This is you. You know, this person is very intuitive. She comes from a pure space in her heart. She's very loving, very caring, very giving. This is my Cancer Scorpio Pisces. This is your card. And this person has, you know, what I'm feeling right here. This person has everything that they need but a spout, like, but a partner. You see how she's looking at that coin? It's like, I have the material world, but I don't have anybody to share with. That's the feeling that I'm getting off this reading. Possibly because she's been hurt in the past. And so you fear, you've been hurt so much in the past that you fear um, allowing somebody to come in. You've been wounded. I get it, sweetheart. I get it. But something wants to go the distance. And in order for that to happen, you have to let it go. You have to let whatever happened to you in the past go. And I know it's hard. I know it's hard. Okay. Got your partner out here. With the uh, pay, a king of pentacles. So we got the queen and the king of pentacles. Very stable, solid individual right here. Seven to one. Someone's in mental conflict. Right? And somebody's watching somebody with this page of swords. You could be watching this person or this person could be watching you. Uh, Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. Or you could be dealing with an air sign. Shit, I got fire out here too. So you could be dealing with an earth sign, an air sign, or a fire sign. But somebody watching somebody with this death card at the bottom. Somebody want to put an end to something, honey. 
And it could be you putting it into holding on to the pain that you've been through, you know. Um, and cherish the opportunity for change. But there's something that's unfinished. You started something with somebody and it's unfinished. And somebody wants to do something by the book so that it can go the distance. But holding on to that, that pain uh, or whatever, whoever did something to you in the past, baby, you got to let it go. You got to learn from it, you know, so that you can grow into the beautiful person that you are. You're absolutely beautiful with the Queen of Cups. This person has a beautiful soul, pure. They come from a pure space, very intuitive, probably psychic. Let's see. Emotions don't lie, baby. Why, somebody holding back. Somebody is holding back. This could be you. This could be them. But somebody is holding on to fear and holding back love. It's causing an unfinished symphony. Like I said, somebody wants to go in the distance. I know it's hard, but you got to let go. You got to let it go, sweetheart. Yeah, baby. Somebody wants somebody walking away. Somebody's juggling something, but somebody's definitely moving away from chaos and conflict. Um, you could be moving and check, you know, here, listen. I cherish every opportunity for change. Somebody is moving away. I said somebody with the secrets is popping up at the bottom of the deck. Somebody's moving away from something. You got the eight of cups, which means this person's walking away from emotions, feelings. And then you got the Six of Swords. Somebody moving away from choppy waters to go to clearer waters. So you could be moving away from um, holding on to the pain, you know, that that past person call, caused you. You could be absolutely moving away from that. But, you know, something's being juggled and somebody's watching somebody. But you do have your counterpart out here. You have the Queen and King of Pentacles. I have to lay this out here because he flipped over on top. That's the moon card. Uh, the moon talks about secrets, lies, deception. Something else flipped over. Let me pull it out. The seven of pentacles. Yeah, somebody's in evaluation mode. Like I said, somebody's watching somebody. Evaluating the situation. What is this? This wants to go the distance. Uh-huh. With this, the death card that came out here, the world card that came out here, the six of swords, and the eight of cups. Somebody wants to put an end to this cycle into this being in fear somebody really hurt you in the past i understand you was carrying a lot it was a lot of burdens that you was carrying with this nine of wands because you're a very pure person and some you know somebody could have took advantage of that you know when we're empaths and we're good-hearted people people see that shit and they take advantage of it all day long and it's caused you to look sad feel sad because even in this right here even though you're the queen of cups, queen of pentacles, look at her face. Look at how she's looking down, sad, depressed. Even though she has all the love in the world to give to somebody. Financially, she's very, very stable and solid. You know, she offers a lot of stability and love. But look how sad she's looking. Man. I wish I knew who this person was that hurt you. I'd go in there and kick their ass. Look at this. This is beautiful, though. We got the Ten of Cups popping out here with the Ace of Cups and the Six of Cups. So, you know, this unfinished symphony that you're dealing with is a soulmate. Okay. And they want to go the distance with you. This person wants to go the distance. They want to give you the Ten of Cups, that Ace of Cups. Man, listen. Whatever you holding on to, sweetheart, let it go because this is what is waiting for you. This is what wants to come in. It's absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Let me see. Damn, these cards just won't even let me do nothing. Yeah, somebody want to come in with some fast communication and tell you that they want to put in the work into this situation. I believe the person that wants to come in and do this with you will be very patient. Because this person's going to understand that you have been wounded. You've been hurt. You done been drugged. Not took down through there. You done been drugged down through there. This person's going to realize this because I said this person is your, this, this person is your uh, counterpart. Where's the Six of Cups? Lord have mercy. Help me get it together. Yeah. This is your past life soulmate. 
they want you. This person's gonna help you get over that past shit. That's how this person gonna love you. So patient, so tender. That's how they're gonna love you so that you can let go with this world card. So that you can let go from the hurt and the pain that the past person caused you. This is gonna be beautiful, guys. It's absolutely good. And you, you, but you sitting juggling. You don't know if you want this person to do it. This person wants to come in and take it step by step. They want to do it by the book. This person doesn't, this person's not going to hurt you. And you know who I'm talking about because this is an unfinished symphony, meaning you didn't start, you started something with this person. Maybe y'all dated a while back. Uh, this could be somebody from high school, college, whatever. It is that past life soulmate. You know this person. This person has a lot of freaking love for you. And like I said, they're going to love you slow, patient, powerful, passionate. I'm getting all of that because they want this to go to distance with, with this um, Ten of Cups. This is beautiful, guys. So beautiful. Cherish the opportunity for change. Right? Let go of that fear and realize that you are testing your resolve to live in the energy of love. I tell people all the time, any decision that you're making for yourself or for someone else, if you come from this space right here, if you come from a pure space in your heart, a pure space of love, there will all be, always be a successful outcome with the Ten of Pentacles. Make your decisions, not on ego, not on this person hurt me so bad, I just, I'm, I don't want to, no, come from a space of love, you know, listen to your intuition. How are you feeling about this person? Because this person absolutely has the Ace of Cups for you. All right, y'all, let's go in with the Oracle and see what we get by Holy Spirit. By Holy Spirit. Blessed. It's absolutely going to be blessed. You just have to let go. But this person's going to be, this person is coming in, they're going to be patient with you. They understand. You know, the Most High God made this person for you. So they're not going to come in and rush you. They do want you to walk away from being hurt. They want you to give them the chance to love you properly. Show you how it really feels to be loved the right way with the Ace of Cups and the Ten of Cups. It's what this person wants to give you. This is a past life soulmate. It's absolutely beautiful. You and this person are king and queen of pentacles. You know, very stable, solid people. Do you understand what I'm saying? Very stable and solid. But walk away. Walk away. Leave all that, you know, disappointment, backstabbing, betraying, hurt, lies, deceit. Leave it all in the past. Walk away from it so that you can have this brand new love that this soulmate is trying to bring in. And be blessed, divine feminine. Because that's the only person that can float up in the damn air, a divine feminine. But she's absolutely protected. Those stars that are around her, those are her angels and her spirit, guys. This is beautiful. This is absolutely beautiful. All right, water signs, that is what I get for you guys. Don't forget to thumbs up the video if you haven't subscribed and you like the content that I create. Go ahead and subscribe. Okay? Thank you. Bye.